Hi, and welcome to Raven and Rose. This is part of my new stupidity series, and I thought I would share it with you. So here's a brow tint that I ordered from Geek, which is an online app. I believe it's the same kind of company as Wish. I think I think they're all linked. Uh, but yes, this I'd had this for a while, and I thought, you know, I'm going to have a go at it. I'll have a play. I've got a bit of time. I'd finished videoing for the day, and felt like just keeping on recording so I yeah I don't <laughs> I don't know what happened there I think my hand shook and then I tried to correct it but I think it made my brows not even look like distant cousins never mind sisters so yeah I, I went in first of all very delicately making sure I'd got in between all the little brows hers and then I was tidying up with a cotton bud that I had been um, popping in some plain cool water because I know when I've tinted my brows with the brow tint that you would get in the salons it can take pretty quick and so if you leave some of it on there it's going to stain so I thought well I wear my brows closer together than that because um, it helps to slim down the nose so I went in and reapplied on the one side and of course what you do on the one side you do on the other and I thought that it would help with not having to be so intense with the eyebrow makeup every day yeah let's see how that went so I didn't realize until I read the box, I thought it was all in Chinese, but then I found a very small print in English after applying the eyebrows. And it says to leave on for a minimum of two hours, preferably overnight. So this is the next morning, it's 11.30, no it's not, because my camera still has not got the right time on it, it's 10.30 in the morning and I'm now going to reveal these beauties so I'm going to zoom you in I'm terrified of what they're going to look like because I'm feeling that they're going to do something terrible like go ginger or really dark I'm supposed to peel them off it feels like it's pulling my hair with it I have to go in the direction of the hair growth yeah, it's pulled my hair out. Jesus. I will show you close-ups of these little bits of... Uh... Oh, jeez. No hair left. Okay. Ginger. Hmm. Try this one. <laughs> I suppose when I've got my makeup on, there's still some hair there, I can feel it. Um, it gives me a basis for the design. That's a cool meeting to go to tonight. I don't know. <sighs> yeah. But let me do my makeup and I will come back to you and see if there's any improvement. In the meanwhile, I'm going to try and get a really close up shot of uh, my hair on this product. Now, I ordered mine from China. I know now there is a version of it in Boots. I think it's L'Oreal. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. But you might be safer with the one from Boots. Uh, yeah, this was like, oh, I'll have a plate that. But it should only last for two, three days and then <laughs> I'm going to be bald on my eyebrows. So I'm going to have to paint them in individually. Which is great. Yeah, so 
let's have a close up. Okay, <laughs> so I've taken a shower and done my normal cleansing routine and this is what I have left. So I'm thinking that was a big fail for me. I did follow the instructions but bear in mind I did order it from Geek um, it was a cheap Chinese product and I think perhaps if I had used one of the new ones from the UK I wouldn't be having this problem so I'm going to have to fill my eyebrows in <laughs> For a few weeks now, I think, um, to get them looking something like. Uh, but I'm seeing the funny side. It's not the end of the world. It's just it's eyebrows. Everybody has issues with eyebrows. So, yep, yeah. absolute fail. Won't be using it again. Um, yeah, no, don't, don't use this, don't use this product, it's bad. And as you can see from the photos, it is, <laughs> it is absolutely horrendous the amount of hair it pulled out of my eyebrow. I could feel it, it was like waxing but backwards, I can feel it pulling at them. So, yeah, I'm off to paint my face. You take care and I'll see you real soon. Bye.